Seeny, great to catch up with you. Yep. It's been far too long. So how yep. long is it since you were last in Witness then? Probably about six and a half years now. So um, it's gone so quick, but now that I'm back, it doesn't seem like I've been away. Yeah. I guess you would have always intended to come back, but, well, COVID, the rest of it, yeah. has conspired to keep you away for so long. Oh, definitely. It's just like we, we had plans to come a lot earlier, but with COVID across the whole world, it kind of put a halt to well, everything in the world. So, yeah. yeah. Just remind us, we know about when you wore the black and white, but you made your life here after that as well, because you stayed in witness for quite some time. Yeah, I ended up living here for about 26 years. And, um, oh, great, great times, really great times. You know, like, you know, coming here with this was my first club. And then obviously I moved on to other clubs, but Witness has always been my hometown. Absolutely. So, what's brought you back here? Is it the World Cup or is it a, an overdue visit? Oh, overdue visit. We come to see our son, Jason, and our, and our first grandchild, um, Oscar. So. Oh, great. So you've caught up with old friends as well. I know oh, that you've yeah. been busy. I've, I've heard you've been around the town catching up with lots of people. Oh, yeah, definitely. There's quite a lot of people that they needed to catch up with and some have moved away and some have moved on. And, but yes, yeah, quite a few other people that are caught up with uh, finally got to see each other and physically see them So rather than just a picture. So it's been great. And you've caught up with us at the stadium here. So it must bring back wonderful memories for you. Oh, it does, especially when you see that thing behind me. <laughs> it does... Um, yeah, I remember when I first came to Norton Park, I was like, oh, this is, you know, not what I thought, but the team and the morale and the, the support that you guys have mm. here is just unbelievable. You know, you made me feel right at home. Yeah. So that's why it's always been my home, really. Absolutely. Yeah, rugby League has been your life, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Witness Rugby League Club, a big part of that. Oh, totally. You know, they're the ones who actually gave me a first um, foot in the door in, the, in actually playing over here. And um, I never, you know, thought I'd ever get to the stage where I would be. Like I only signed a one-year deal, and I didn't expect to be here for 26 years. So, uh, no, nah, it has been a great opportunity. Yeah. I mean, it, it would be really difficult to select one game, you know, that, that, to, to stick out above all the games that yeah. you played in the black and white. But, but some memories then, have you got some memories that you, you recall about, especially here at this stadium? Yeah, I remember... Um, as a kid growing up, myself and my brothers, my dad would always get up to watch Wembley. <clears throat> and I didn't realise how big a, uh, an effect it is for you guys over here until I actually played in a semi-final against St. Helens. And we lost that and I looked across the, the grounds and there was players on the floor crying and devastated and I thought, whoa. And, um, and then it wasn't until we actually went to Wembley in 93 that I actually found out this is what it's all about, you know? This is everybody's dream, and I realised that when I actually walked up the tunnel and when I walked through there, it was just unbelievable. You know, it was. But I was lucky. You know, I, I was able to play with some great players. You yeah. know, witness were very sport with the calibre of players that grew up in this town and came through. You had so many families coming through, the O'Neills, the Humes, the Milers. You know, you had everybody coming through. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so given that then, Asini, have you learned over that time of when you came here how important this club is to the town itself of Witness? You've mentioned names of yeah. guys who, who, who made their name on the rugby field as well, but the whole idea of having a rugby club here, it's at the heart of the community. Has that always been so for you? Yeah, totally. You know, the fans, fan base here are true diehards. And like, <clears throat> as much as like people say, oh, no, nah, we don't need a team and all this. This is what it's all about. People live and die for who they support. And I always say this to people in, in New Zealand. I says, you may only have about 3,000 fans out here, but it sounds like 20. You know, they just keep cheering. No matter how bad you get or, or how low you get, they're still there through and through the cold and the freezing cold weather. I sit there and go, they must be freezing. They're still going. But, you know, and... To me, that just shows how much they actually love the game and their town. Mm. Well, you're here, back yeah. here, at a time when the Rugby League World Cup is about to get underway. So there's some interest. Before you do go back, you'll yeah. see some of it. Uh, what are your thoughts? Are you looking forward to this competition? Do you think it'd be good for the game? It'll be good for the game because there's quite a... Before it used to be, you know, always New Zealand, Australia and England. But now there's the competition now... You've got Samoa, who've got a lot of young blood, 
a lot of power in there. Um, Tonga as well. The teams there are all quite strong, so it's going to be an interesting competition. You know, people think, oh, you know, let's see how we go, but it's going to be tough. Mm. Some big boys. Yeah, and you mentioned boys, though, but a World Cup so different as well at Sini from when you played the game because the wheelchair competition running alongside the women's game as yeah. well. How good is that? How inclusive oh, is that? It's good. It's good because I before I left New, uh, the UK, I actually helped out with the wheelchair rugby and I had a couple of games with them there and it was quite interesting. It was like wheeling around and like they were knocking me out off my seat. I was thinking, oh, are you sure this is allowed? But that's the way it is. But it's good to see them all come along, the wheelchair, the women's, all put in one because, you know, it's rugby league at the end of the day. It's not just about the boys plan, it's everybody plan. So it's been good to see them incorporate everything in. Great to catch up with you. A final thought then, a message, you know, for, for the town uh, and for the, for the Witness fans as well. Uh, the affection that you hold and what it's done for your life being part of Witness Rugby League Club. Yeah, Witness will always have a big part in, in my heart in this place because, you know, it's the first club um, when I come to, you know, and the players and, and the support, everybody's made me feel so welcome. You know, like, I don't know, it's hard to describe. It's like Special club? Special, very special. Great stuff. Great to catch up with you. Yep. You take care. Don't leave mm. it so long next time. I won't. <laughs>